Sometimes you create a sculpture or a mechanism where you want there to be some moving parts. How can you attach one piece of cardboard to another so that it moves rather than being rigid? The first attachment I'm going to talk about is using split pins. These are brass split pins which enable your cardboard to pivot, so if you want something to turn or hinge. Poke a hole using blue tack and a sharp pencil or pen. You can use your pencil to enlarge the hole a bit with a twisting motion and a bit of a push. It will gently enlarge the hole for you and then you can put in your split pin. So repeat that process on the piece of card that you want to join. I used my make do safe saw poker that time. And insert them together, then fold back the metal legs. And there you've got your moving part. You can create as many moving parts as you like with this. I'm going to continue to create a snapping crocodile. Another way to create movement is by using cable ties. We've got these reusable ones as they're a little more sustainable, but all you do is make your holes with a pencil or a make-do hole making device, thread the cable tie through and pull it as tight as you want it. The possibilities are endless with these. Skewers. These are brilliant for creating movement attachments and toothpicks too. These are just the kind you'd find on a barbecue. There are loads of things you can do with these in your cardboard creations, but one such way is to create a wheel and axle moving mechanism like this. You want to poke your skewer into the centre of each wheel. This will give your creation the ability to roll. Imagine the different moving mechanisms you could build with this technique. String is a brilliant way of creating movement attachments. Think about how a puppet moves. Or you could use string to make a pulley system capable of moving objects, like you find in a crane. I'm using string to create a moving drawbridge on this castle. So I've attached two pieces of string which are the same length to my drawbridge. Then I'm threading the string through two holes in the wall which I've poked out with a pencil. And you can use your pencil to thread it through. Then tie two small knots. And you can create a hinge for the drawbridge using masking tape. You could take this further by using a skewer to create a crank which pulls the bridge up and down. This is just one way of using string in your cardboard creations.